Welcome to Librarian Recommends. Hi, my name is Trish and I'm one of the librarians at Barbican Library. And in this video, I'm going to bring you some suggestions of ebooks to read from our e-library. You can download ebooks using our free Libby app. Simply download the app, search for City of London Libraries, enter your library membership number and away you go. Today's ebook suggestions are all about sport. The Olympics and Paralympics may be over, but what a summer of sport we have had. My first suggestion is The Crossing by James Cracknell and Ben Fogel. When James Cracknell and Ben Fogel decided to compete in the Atlantic rowing race, they thought they knew what was waiting for them, but they were wrong. What awaited them was nearly 3,000 miles of empty ocean, stormy weather and immense physical and mental stress. They pushed themselves past the limit, both physically and psychologically. They survived with no water rations and lost what few clothes they had to a freak wave. They hallucinated, played games, wept, fought and grew beards. But after 2,930 miles of rowing, they were the first pair across the finishing line. This is a remarkable story of strength and perseverance. How about Murray Walker's Formula One Heroes by Murray Walker? The late great motor racing commentator Murray Walker combines an encyclopedic knowledge of Grand Prix racing with an unbridled enthusiasm that remains as strong when he wrote this book as it was when he began commentating back in 1949. In this, his personal tribute to the sport, he celebrates the most talented drivers of all time, the rivalries that have set his pulse racing and the circuits he finds the most inspiring. This updated edition of Murray Walker's Formula One Heroes gives an in a nutshell appraisal of legends old and new from an esteemed hero and genuine F1 insider who is sorely missed in the world of motor racing. Next up is Vava Froome by David Sharp. On the 22nd of July 2012, Chris Froome made history as the first African-born cyclist to stand on the podium at the Tour de France. His path to professional cycling, from mountain biking on dusty roads in the nature reserves of Kenya's Great Rift Valley, alongside wild animals, to the giddy heights of the Tour de France and the Olympics, has been unlike any other in the history of the sport. Born in Nairobi to British parents, Froome was schooled in South Africa and studied economics at university. But he abandoned his degree to take up the offer of a professional cycling contract in Europe. Froome encountered a shock entrance into the rough and tumble world of top level European bike racing. But miraculously, within two years, he'd signed for the biggest professional cycling team in the world, Team Sky. This is an engaging story, not just for cycling fans, that leads to Froome wearing the yellow jersey as the emphatic victor of cycling's most pre prestigious and famous race. The final suggestion is The Girl on the Dancing Horse by Charlotte Dujardin. As a horse owner myself, this book really appeals to me, but will captivate anyone with an interest in horses. Charlotte Dujardin and her charismatic horse Vallegro burst onto the international sports scene with their record-breaking performance at the London 2012 Olympics. The world was captivated by the young woman with the dazzling smile and her dancing horse. But no one quite knew what it took to get there, nor how hard the path to success would be until now. Dujardin began riding horses at the age of two, but dressage was firmly the domain of the wealthy, not the life of a girl from a middle-class family. Her parents sacrificed all, and with an undeterred focus, Charlotte left school at 16 to follow her dream. When she was invited to be a groom for the British Olympian, Carl Hester, she began to ride Vallegro, a dark bay gelding, known to his friends as Blueberry and an unbreakable bond was formed. This is their incredible story. I do hope you enjoy these ideas for your next read. 
And don't forget, if these titles are unavailable when you look, you can search by genre or subject and availability, or simply browse in the Libby app. If you prefer to listen to audiobooks, do look out for my Librarian Recommends video on audiobooks. Please do like this video if you have enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Your support and feedback is invaluable to us. Happy reading and see you soon. Bye.